Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to do a raw material consumption for production order using picking list. Okay, so normally what we do is uh, we do production order confirmation. See your 11 in transaction to do the both the uh, raw material consumption and to record the machine consumption as well. But in some cases we need to segregate these into two steps. So let me explain this scenario using a practical example. Okay, let's say in your company you have a machine like this, and you have a machine operator. Okay, and you have a production supervisor as well. So if this person is responsible for all the raw materials which you consume to do a production in this machine, so we can let her to do the raw material consumption in production order. Okay, but uh, overall supervisor is responsible for the overall production, so we can allow him to do the production order confirmation to record the machine numbers and or to confirm the final ultimate yield likewise. Okay, so let me uh, first show you the production order. This is the newly created production order. Now it's in release status. If I go to the component overview. There, I have two components. Okay, this black patch indicator is important. If you take this black patch indicator, okay, then you can't use this in pick list. It means black patch in the sense you can only consume these raw materials in production order confirmation. If you untick this one, then you can uh, do the picking using a CO27 picking transaction. Okay, so I untick uh, these two and I press save. Okay. Then I go to production order picking transaction. The T code is CO27. CO27. Okay, now I enter the production order number here. This is my production order number. So I press execute. Then it will show the two components. Uh, Two components is there, right? If I want to do the picking for all the two components, I can select these two. Both the uh, items, and if I press this one, these two items will be displayed here. Okay, now you can select the badge if you if your materials are badge activated. So I press, I select two badges. Okay, this one and this two. And so you can tick this one if the uh, raw material consumption is completed. Let me assume you do this picking during the half of the production is done. Then you can untick this one, right? It means your production is 10 hours. Now you do the first picking at five, at fifth hour. Then it is not a complete production. It's a partial one. But my one. So I do the confirmation after the production is happens. Okay, now I save this one. Here in environment, uh, you can see the error log as well if there is any error. Uh, okay, now if I refresh this one, this here. The confirmation is already done. Now, if I go to the product, my production order again here, new status is there. That's called GMPS. Good moments happens. Okay. If I go to components, see my component uh, withdrawn quantity also updated. Okay. Now I have done the my picking part. Now, if I go to see your 11 in transaction, so we can give the authorization for this T code to 
second person, right? Okay, my other round number is this one. Okay. So now if if I press enter, see here I can enter the yield that I want to confirm and I can give the start execution and finish the execution. If I go to good moments, I can't see any component there. This is the header material. It's not coming because there is no black plus indicator tick in that uh, production order. Okay. So I, I save that one. Uh, the activities is not there. Let me press. Okay. Sure, data is not kept. You can enter the activities. I'm not going to explain those things detail. Okay. Give the start execution and finish execution and a yield confirmation type and press save. Now confirmation is saved. Now go to your production order. See the delivered content is updated, but the CNF status is there. See, I think now you understood the usage of this picking list, right? This person, the machine operator can do the picking of raw materials and the production supervisor can do the press of the confirmation, yield confirmation. So that's the practical usage of the picking list. So that's it guys. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching my video.